In this video from Learn Electrics, we will answer some recent questions that are specific to socket ring circuits. In the UK, almost every socket ring circuit is 2.5 twin and earth with a 1.5 CPC. Three recent questions are shown here and they've all been asked in relation to ring circuits. How can I find the individual conductor resistances if I only know ZS and ZE? I have R1 plus R2. Can I work out the rest of the circuit details from this? And will ZS tell me the length of a circuit? Nothing could be easier. There's a very simple method that will give you all the answers in just a few seconds with no complicated mathematics. Before we begin, take a minute to refresh your memory on the important terms that we need to understand. And most importantly, for a ring circuit, little r1 and little r2 are not the same as big r1 and big r2. So pause the video and make sure you know these terms. We can best show this method with a worked example. We have a ring circuit that is wired in twin and earth cable with a 2.5 mm line and neutral and 1.5 mm CPC or earth. And ZS and ZE are both known, but nothing more. The question is, can we calculate everything else about the cable from these three pieces of information? The cable size, the ZS and the ZE. We should know that ZS is ZE plus R1 plus R2. And we can rearrange these to get just R1 plus R2. So ZS minus ZE will give us R1 plus R2. We are talking about big R1 and big R2 here, the parallel resistance in a ring circuit. And in a moment, we will use this to calculate little R1 and little R2, the end to end values of a conductor. Note that R1 plus R2 in a ring circuit is not the same as R1 plus R2 in a radial circuit. This is very important. OK, let's calculate little R1. I've shown here a table as a way of making it easier to understand the process. This method is unique to 2.5 twin and earth with a 1.5 CPC, and this will cover 99% of households, almost every domestic socket ring circuit in the UK. There is bound to be someone who has a ring circuit in 1.5 mm or 4 mm, but unfortunately, the method shown here will not work. There is a way but that's for another video. We are going to enter the size of the conductors first, and then we will find a multiplication factor. If we then multiply this by the big R1 plus big R2 value, out will pop the end-to-end -end resistance of each conductor, the little R1 and the little R2. So, put in the 2.5 for the CSA of the line and the 1.5 for the size of the CPC or earth. Now, here's the trick. Put the 1.5 for the CPC into the top row for the multiplication factor. And then the 2.5 for the line into the box on the CPC row. Enter big R1 plus big R2 that we just calculated into the column. And notice that there is a multiplication sign in yellow boxes between the two columns. So, top row for the line multiply 1.5 by 0 0.48 in this case, and our end-to-end -end or little r1 resistance is 0 0.72 ohms. Now the CPC row. Multiply 2.5 by the same 0 0.48, and we have an end-to-end -end resistance of 1.2 ohms for little r2. And that is it. Little r1 is 0 0.72 ohms, and little r2 is 1.2 ohms. And little rn, the neutral, is the same as little r1, so this is 0 0.72 ohms as well. It's so easy to use and easy to remember. And we are asked about calculating the length as well. Once we know little r1 and little r2, we can do this. Add little r1 and little r2 together, and then multiply by 1000. And then divide that number by 19.51. 19.51 
is the resistance value of a meter of 2.5 twin and earth as shown in table B1 of guidance note 3. Let's work it out. 0 0.72 plus 1.2 is 1.92 ohms. Multiply this by 1000 and we have 1920 divided by 19.51. Our twin and earth cable length is 98.4 meters end to end. Each conductor is approximately 98.4 meters long. In summary, this method will only work for 2.5, 1.5 twin and earth cable in a ring circuit. In a ring circuit, little r1 plus little r2 is not the same as big r1 plus big r2. To find the end-to-end -end resistance of a conductor, multiply the other conductor's cross-sectional area by the big r1 plus r2 reading. Repeat for the second conductor with the CSA of the first. And the biggest conductor will have the smallest resistance. And the smaller sized conductor will have the biggest resistance. And to find the length of the circuit, the length of a single conductor, add little r1 plus little r2, then multiply by 1000 and divide by 19.51. 19.51 is the milliohms per meter value for 2.5, 1.5 cable. And this comes from table B1 in guidance note 3. And there it is, how to calculate all the values of the cable with the minimum of information. We hope you enjoy this video and that you now have a little more knowledge in your mental toolbox. The secret to being good at these methods is to practice them as often as possible. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.